Hey guys, Stanford here from the Fun Robotics Network, and right now I'm checking in with Team 2659, the Robo Warriors, and we're going to be checking out some of the super cool stuff they got going on on this robot. Double joints and arm with over the bumper intake and shooter all in one. These custom sword modules and these inverted climbers that they use to score in the trap. I've got Zane, Jonathan, Mariella, and Jared here to help you out with that, so stay tuned for all that more on an episode of Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your robotics competition needs. Celebrating 20 years of quality robotics parts and superior service, Animark employees have over 200 years of first-team experience. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Animark.com for high-quality and affordable solutions. Discover how Kettering University students engineered their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotics scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash first to learn more and apply. All right, Zane, take it away. So here we have our custom swerve modules. Everything here is designed and manufactured in-house other than the motors and can coder and then the gears. And um, so basically we use these WCP steel gears. There's, they're in a center stack. And so we used to have them on a hex shaft and then you'd have the encoder shaft run through for the actual rotation. However, now they're on a round shaft and they're uh, put together with these pins that are Loctited and the pins are really hard to machine. And so that kind of set us back in season. However, we've been really happy with the um, lack of hex backlash in that system. Um, we use Krakens for drive and Neos for steer. And um, I just want to reiterate that everything is designed and machined in-house in terms of plates and standoffs and shafts. Um, next, I want to talk about the climbers. So these are the uh, WCP Great Climbers. Uh, we use their bearing blocks. And then we have their pocketed tubes on the top and unpocketed on the bottom. Something special about our climbers is that they're actually inverted, which allows the hooks to come this low to allow us to reach into the trap. And so that is one thing that sets our climbers apart. Another thing is they're actually designed for service. So. As you see right here, you have this riveted plate. There's one bolt here, and then there's four, um, under the uh, under the base plate, there's four, five, 16, 18 bolts into this bearing block here. And then you have the gearbox attached on these standoffs. So it's very easy to change out motors or to take out the entire climber. And we actually have a spare climber back there. It takes about five minutes to change out. And other than that, everything is uh, very easy. It was designed focused on service. Another late minute addition we had was to give us more room. We have these hook extension plates the actual hooks are these inner plates. You can kind of see the ledge up here, but these actual plates are extensions that allow us to get even higher and reach further into the trap. All right, Jonathan, go ahead and take us through this uh, shooter intake combo. So we have a quite unique uh, intake system and it does smell quite a lot like lemon fudge. Now, one thing that we found is that these polycarbonate plates when intaking and shooting were providing resistance. Now, lemon pledge provides a slick surface after it is dried. So we used Lemon Pledge to get these plates slick so that not only when we're going down to intake from the ground, but also when we come up to shoot, we have as little resistance on the note as possible. Now, we do have a double jointed arm here. Now, part of the purpose behind that double jointed arm is to not only allow us to score in the amp, but also to allow us to score in the trap. So when our climb, when we go to climb, our, the climbers pull the chain down towards the base plate and this arm allows us to sort of reach up and pop our shot up into the trap. So we're going to show you right now. Go ahead and do a ground intake. So our ground intake flips down, grabs a note, and our current uh, limiting on these senses that we have a note and brings the arm back up automatically. So it's an automatic retract. Now going into amp, our arm, watch yourself, comes up like this and we shoot down into the amp now going to the source it comes up directly to the source allowing our human player to feed directly into the bot stopping other teams from stealing our notes now a very fun feature that we have on here which is on our driver's controller is our over defense shots so if there is a bot in front of us we're able to shoot over defense All right, Jared, so go ahead and take us through some of the software that powers this arm. All right, if you head over to our laptop, you see for our, our targeting, we have uh, four, what's it called, conditions that has to be met in order for it to shoot. So our arm angle has to be set, our uh, swerve speed, our vision angle for our arm, and then our uh, shooter RPM. So 
when all those four conditions are met, like the robot will automatically shoot. So, we'll give you a demonstration. So if I press this right here, it'll automatically target. But what's it called? When I hold it down, when I stop, it'll shoot. Yeah. So I'm gonna hand it off to Mariella to explain the programming. All right, Mariella, take it away. All right, so the auto shoot function is based on vision, right? So we use photon vision. Um, we have set angles, so depending on the distance and angle, um, the note will shoot in that direction. Uh, the light affects it, so normally we tune it before um, before matches start. And uh, yeah, here, let's uh, go to our code. We recently implemented Path Planner um, just this weekend, and uh, here. And we've created a lot of autos. Um, the most recent one we tested is the Source Auto, which um, shoots at the um, subwoofer. Yeah, shoots at the subwoofer, and then it goes over to this note, picks it up, comes back, shoots, and then comes over there, shoots, and then it will end right here. So that way we can um, have like a starting advantage um, for when teleop starts. And um, uh, what what kind of cameras do you guys use to, to track the tags? Oh, uh, <laughs> Amazon cameras. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we use these two cameras. Um, actually, our photon vision is flipped upside down, so um, it reads the April April tags upside down. All right, guys, so as you can see, this is a pretty complicated, but really, really effective machine. That arm motion is very, very satisfying to watch, especially out on the field. So thank you guys so much for allowing us to come see this machine and good luck with the rest of your competition. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineered their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotics scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash first to learn more and apply. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your robotics competition needs. Celebrating 20 years of quality robotics parts and superior service, Animark employees have over 200 years of first-team experience. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to animark.com for high-quality and affordable solutions.